Printmaking is a creative technique that involves transferring pictures from a matrix to another surface. Most often, paper or cloth. Woodcut, etching, engraving, and lithography are traditional printing processes, but modern artists have broadened the available techniques to include screen printing. Because printed outputs are sometimes unexpected, the process of printing encourages students to work and think in a whole new way. This aspect of the process allows students to freely experiment with the continued development of their images. Indeed, the disparity between a student's projected end and the actual reality of their paint is part of the fun of printing. It liberates the artist and allows them to experiment with new and fascinating methods of working. After creating the screen or block, the student can experiment with overprinting onto other surfaces, experimenting with new color schemes, or transforming the two-dimensional print into a three-dimensional sculpture. Printmaking encourages students to be creative and experiment. Printmaking is used by the modern artists to address important and universal subjects. They demonstrate that printing is being employed in increasingly diverse ways by artists today to create artworks that are relevant to modern culture. Creativity encourages learners to develop alternative ways of thinking and because art has no right or wrong solution, addressing a visual puzzle requires a distinct mental approach. Printmaking contributes to students' visual language, allowing them to convey their ideas in a variety of complex ways and assist them in expressing their thoughts and ideas. Here are some teaching strategies in teaching printmaking in elementary ways. Let's begin with modeling. It's crucial to show pupils how to accomplish something after informing them what to do. Students that are visual learners will benefit from this. Number two is the feedback. Without you telling them, students don't always realize if they're doing a good job. When teaching printmaking, provide written or verbal comments for individual or group work on a frequent basis. It can also be good to turn the table from time to time. Allow the pupils to provide you with comments on how you're doing as well. Number three, experiential learning. It is a term that refers to learning by experience. Because students learn best by doing, printmaking will provide them with the opportunity to observe concepts in action. Allow them to practice the concept in a secure setting. They should next reflect on their experience and talk about what they've learned about printmaking. Number 4. Discussion in class. Class discussions are another technique to teach printmaking. You can examine the student's understanding and determine who didn't understand the ideas and to what extent. Number 5. Cooperative learning. When students collaborate, they learn more effectively. Printmaking necessitates collaboration and learning from one another. They develop creative thinking abilities, communication skills, and more as a result of this process. Number six, inquiry-guided questions. Students become involved in the learning process by asking questions and working together to do printmaking. As students finish the work, they are better to, rec to recall and comprehend the concepts. 